Hi, this is Kathy Bridges, and I wanted to give you guys a little tip on how to get um, the right picture to show up on Facebook when you're using the Collab2 blogging system. It's come to my attention that there's some people who are still getting the wrong images and who don't know about the trick I am about to show you. Um, so I, put, I made a little test blog here, um, you know, text is just blah, 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 and I'm going to take this down as soon as I'm done with this video. But you'll notice that I have a picture here. Now, um, when you select a picture, sometimes you'll find a message down here that says that the picture must be 200 by 200 pixels or it won't post properly on Facebook. And I have found that to be true. Um, sometimes it's a little hit and miss if the picture is close to that size um, and other times it just doesn't work at all. So you do want to make sure before you choose your picture, select one that is at least 200 by 200 pixels. Um, so I've got my image here. Uh, this is going to be what would post on Facebook. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just publish this. And then after I publish it, what I want to do is I'm going to go right here and click view post. So as you can see, it says test blog. This is the permanent link for this blog article. Now there's no picture here because I didn't set a featured image, but that shouldn't affect what I'm about to show you. So here's what you want to do. Go to Google, any Google window, and just search for Facebook debugger. Click on the first result that you get. So this is a tool that was made by the Facebook developers that helps uh, gather information from blog posts and blog articles and things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the link of my blog article, put it in this debugger, and I'm going to click debug. Now most of the time, the first time you try that, it's going to give you some kind of error. So then you click fetch new scrape information. Now you're going to have a whole lot more information and that tells me that it worked this time. And what you'll see is that my image is here However, it's not showing up in the preview right now. So I'm going to try it again. I'm going to click Fetch New Scrape Information one more time. And there it is. So as you can see, I mean, that took probably one minute out of my time to put the link in, click Debug, Fetch New Scrape Information, scroll down and see if your picture is showing and if it's not try it again now if I post this to Facebook and I am going to actually do that just so you can see how it looks I'm gonna go to my coaching page so I just paste the link just like usual and there's my image that is how you get the correct image from your Kalatu blog article onto Facebook. So just to recap, you write your blog, you publish it, then you view post so you can get to this link. Open a Google search window, search for Facebook debugger and click the first result. Come in here, put your URL, click debug. It might not show the right information the first time, so if it doesn't, click fetch new scrape information. Once it's got the correct image, that information will be saved in Facebook. So that's why when you go and you post it on your page, it shows the right image now. So that is how you do it. And as you can see, it doesn't take very long. So I encourage everybody to try that little trick if you've been having trouble getting the correct image to show up on your Facebook posts. Thanks a lot. Make it a great day.